Hi, in this video, we'll take a look at all the different ways you could try to fix uh, the Wi-Fi issues on your iPhone or iPad that's running iOS 13. So if you're having issues uh, connecting to a Wi-Fi router or if the Wi-Fi is slow or if it's not connecting or if it's not working, here are the different things you could try. This is on an iPhone 11 uh, Pro running iOS 13. So the first uh, thing you could try is to reset the network settings. So first go into settings from home screen, then go down to uh, general and then tap on reset. So go down to general and tap on reset. And then in here tap on reset network settings and put in the phone passcode. Doing this will require you to put in the password for your Wi-Fi router again. So now it's resetting the Wi-Fi networks. After your phone boot up, try to uh, connect to your Wi-Fi uh, router again with the Wi-Fi password. Now give that a try and see if you can connect to the Wi-Fi. Okay, the next thing to try is to restart your Wi-Fi router. So here you're going to go to the Wi-Fi router and simply just switch it off and wait for 10 seconds. So after 10 seconds, you can switch on. So maybe 10, 15 or even better, 30 seconds. So wait for a while and then switch it back on and then try to uh, reconnect the phone to the Wi-Fi wi wi router. Now sometimes Wi-Fi routers can also have problems in itself. And so by res restarting the Wi-Fi router can help. So give that a try, we, we start the Wi-Fi router. Uh, if it still doesn't work, we try uh, to move on to the next one. Okay, the next one is uh, you can try to forget a Wi-Fi network and then rejoin it. Uh, to do so, uh, first go back to your home screen, tap on settings, then tap on Wi-Fi. Uh, select the Wi-Fi that you're currently connected to and then tap on the information button right over here. And then tap on forget this network, then tap on forget. And then after that, you can try to rejoin the network by simply putting in the Wi-Fi password. So tapping on join, your phone should uh, try to re-establish the connections. So give us that a try. Okay, next, make sure that auto join is enabled. So auto join basically uh, when you're within a Wi-Fi range, your phone will automatically attempt to um, connect to a Wi-Fi network. Yeah, somehow uh, if auto join sometimes if it switch off, then you may not be able to automatically connect to Wi-Fi and therefore um, you won't, won't be able to use the internet. So first, go back to your home screen, tap on settings, tap on Wi-Fi, then tap on the information icon, and then tap on auto join switch to turn it on. Make sure it is uh, on and then now see if your Wi-Fi is working. Now another common thing that may cause Wi-Fi issue is the VPN connections. So check to see if you have installed any VPN app on your device or if you have uh, enabled VPN from the settings, then make sure you just uh, temporarily turn it off or just uh, switch it off temporary and then just to check to see if you can connect it to the Wi-Fi or not. And if that's the issue, you may need to um, address uh, the VPN app or the VPN connections. So go to your phone and check to see if there's any VPN app or if you um, uh, install it via settings, go to settings. And then in here, tap on general and then go down and tap on VPN and make sure any active VPN connection is uh, temporarily uh, disable so just switch it off for a while and uh, give that a try and see if you can fix it okay another thing you could try is to disable wi-fi networking some people say that by turning off wi-fi networking they start to get uh, wi-fi working again on ios 13. so to get to this uh, settings uh, i'm just going to show you i'm just going to go back so go back to your home screen then tap on settings in settings you want to go down and tap on privacy and in privacy, tap on location services and go down here and tap on system services and turn tap on Wi-Fi networking switch to turn it off. Now turning off Wi-Fi networking does not turn off your Wi-Fi 
it's basically just turn off um, Wi-Fi for location services. So the location sometimes can use um, um, GPS, sometimes it can use your Wi-Fi or 4G to um, locate your positions. So this basically is just for the location services, not really um, about Wi-Fi. And that's it. So if you can't still get it working, we try the next one. Now, if your internet is uh, going really slow, it could be a DNS problem. So what you can do is try to uh, change the, the DNS servers. So instead of using your local ISP DNS server, which they may have a problem, you could switch to uh, another uh, DNS server such as uh, Cloudflare or Google DNS. So we can uh, do this by doing the following. So swipe up to go back to your home screen. Then tap on settings to go to the settings screen. In settings, tap on Wi-Fi. Then tap on the Wi-Fi network that you're connecting to. And then in here, go down and tap on configure DNS. Then here, tap on uh, menu. And then tap on delete. So delete all this um, auto-generate DNS ID. And then tap on add server. And for example, if we're going to use uh, the Google uh, DNS, it's 8.8.8.8, so 4.8. And then tap on save. And from here, you can see we still connect to the Wi-Fi. So you can see if we change the DNS server, the, the phone still work. And there it is. So that's it. So try to change the DNS server, see if that helps. And the next one is to try ask to join networks. So I'll give this one a try. Instead of selecting, notify to select ask. So again, in settings, go to Wi-Fi, tap on the information icon, then go down. And uh, so in here, so I'm just going to go back. It's in here. So right back here. So in Wi-Fi, tap on ask to join and then uh, choose ask. And then that will automatically save when you select ask and then just go back and then go back again to your home screen and then see if the Wi-Fi uh, connection is working. Sometimes you may need to uh, turn it off and then turn it back on. And see if it's connecting to your Wi-Fi. Okay, next try to turn Wi-Fi assist off and then back on. So first, Go back to your home screen, then, then tap on settings. In settings, tap on cellular, then go down, all the way down to the bottom, and tap on Wi-Fi assist uh, switch to turn it off. Then tap on the switch again to turn it back on. So give that a try. Sometimes uh, Wi-Fi assist can cause some issues with Wi-Fi connections. So by simply turn it off and then back on, that will help. So what this uh, Wi-Fi assist does is it's automatically use cellular data when the Wi-Fi connectivity is poor or not working very well. So definitely try that one. Okay, if everything's still not going so well, we may need to force restart the device. So press on the volume up key, volume down key, and then press the side button and hold. So just hold this until the phone restart. So I accidentally press a few buttons. I wonder if it works or not. So I'm just going to hold. Okay, so it's not restarting. We'll give it another try. So we try again by uh, pressing volume up, volume down, and then hold on the side button. So hold for a few seconds until the phone restart. So once the phone restart, try to connect to um, your Wi-Fi again and see if that works. Now, if the phone still doesn't work, uh, if the Wi-Fi still doesn't work, you probably want to try to connect to um, uh, Wi-Fi. And uh, if it still doesn't work, try to uh, reset the device. Now, resetting the device can sometimes cause you to lose all the data. So what you want to do is back up your device first to your cloud or to iTunes. Now, I would really recommend if you try all the other options first before doing this. But if all else failed, then try to hard reset the device. So you can go into settings and then go down to general and then go all the way down, tap on reset. And then just choose erase all content and settings. 
and give that a try so erase everything but make sure you back up all your data to iTunes uh, after the reset you then can try to restore all the all your data back to your phone so choose that and then erase the phone so give that a try okay another thing you could try is to um, update your router firmware so make sure that your a router firmware is up to date sometimes there could be bugs or whatever it is on the router that causing the router not to be compatible with the latest iOS 13 so by updating uh, the firmware on the router the software could now uh, understand the connections between your new your Wi-Fi and the new iOS 13 so give that a try up try to go into your computer and update uh, the Wi-Fi router firmware to the latest uh, version Okay, at this point, if everything still fails, you probably need to connect your phone to the computer and use iTunes to restore and set up your, uh, your new iPhone. So simply by connecting the phone to iTunes, iTunes will give you option, the restore options, and you could choose uh, restore and set up new iPhone. And uh, it, uh, what iTunes do is it will connect to Apple server and download the latest uh, the software on iTunes and then it will upload to your phone and hopefully that can fix uh, the issues with your Wi-Fi not working uh, on your iOS uh, 13 and again if you try off toast and it's still not working I think uh, you could take your phone back to Apple and ask them uh, for advice on how you can uh, fix the Wi-Fi issues if you try off or the above and if it's still not working then perhaps you need to have a technician looking at the device it could be a hardware problem thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more videos